Hey everyone, I'm Freddie with Superbike Unlimited and today I'm coming to you with a video that's a little different than uh, what we were hoping this video was going to be. I'm actually here before we open up um, to kind of give you an introduction to a project that we're going to be doing this year which is a 2019 ZX10 RR Superbike. Uh, there's just one small problem with that uh, project which is that uh, we don't have a ZX10 RR Superbike and we're leaving in a week to race this bike that we don't yet have. So. This is a little different than what I had anticipated and what we had all hoped to show you. <laughs> we kind of wanted to just show you a, you know, the, the, a transformation of a bone stock, brand new, super badass super bike. Um, and uh, instead, we're right now we're kind of just working with what we already have, which is our 2018 uh, ZX10RR. And fortunately, the chassis are the same, so we're able to mock up a lot of stuff that we're going to be using on this 2019 machine. Um, but yeah, we're in a bit of a pinch, and uh, we're actually still missing a few bits which are probably going to be getting here today and tomorrow um but uh, yeah we're, we're we're running things a little tighter than we hoped um so for now we'll just show you what we do have which is basically just parts and um uh and kind of give you an idea of where we're going to be going with this i think it's going to be our coolest build yet and uh, it's going to just be super trick really high level world superbike spec components and things of that nature so first uh this is going to be the swing arm that we're going to be using this is a Suter Superbike swing arm. Um, really nice piece. These are used in World Superbike by BMW, Honda, and Yamaha presently. Um, basically, the idea here is just to get better feel on the edge of the tire and a little bit better grip. Um, it's got a different wheelbase as well, um, which we're not going to be using the full potential of this on our setup yet. But um, uh, And then additionally, we're going to be running this... Uh, Brembo rear caliper here, Cormoto brake lines like we had last year. Evolve Technology rear sets, which we're a huge fan of. Um, we're going to be using this carbon fiber monocoque tail section here. This is actually replaces the entire subframe and uh, bodywork with a with a single carbon fiber unit. Which there's also a seat base that goes on that, which you can see. Here's one over here. You can see this just kind of sits on there. So. Uh, then we'll go over here right now we're running OZ wheels we're expecting to try some other stuff but uh, these are our OZ gas wheels which are forged aluminum uh, these are standard interchangeable with stock wheels and we're running brake tech ductile iron 330 by 6 rotors really big fan of those for brake discs we have Behringer nickel plated endurance calipers this year last year we used these standard Behringers uh, but they we did upgrade these with titanium pistons with magnetic inserts, which these come standard with. Other than that, these are made of a slightly different alloy. There's a, a ramp here to guide the disc into the pads. And uh, you can see this area here where the disc is is a bit wider on the endurance units. Um, we're going to be using a Nova billet gearbox. This is essentially a World Superbike transmission. They're really popular in BSB and other series. This is... Part of it as you can see it's just completely billet steel not aluminum really really nice piece and a lot of the other stuff that we're going to be using um we will kind of show you a little bit later on right now we like i said we have a bit more but we'll kind of unveil everything in stages but this is sort of a sneak peek of where we're going um this is this bike itself was probably one of my favorite projects which was our 2018 double r uh, super bike which we have a, a complete blog um, detailing the the progress and how this thing transformed from a brand new motorcycle to a, a pretty legit super bike um, so you should check that out for sure but that being said this new one is going to one up that thing so badly and i just can't wait to try it out so hopefully we're going to have an update for you soon that involves us um, getting this thing and in a matter of days doing a whole lot of work and making it into a real bad mf -er. um if not, plan B is we're just going to, this is a, an awesome motorcycle as well. So we'll just put all the new goodies on this thing. We'll run it a weekend and we're hoping that after that we'll have the new one. So either way, we're going to have some cool updates for you soon. Um, so just hang in there and, uh, and wait till you see what's coming. <laughs> 